Gianni, you know, you mentioned bright spots. It's been our job the last several weeks to highlight people who are pushing back against those negative narratives. The bright spots in Oakland, you know, from retailers to music festivals, we're really seeing the hustle and bustle bolster businesses. We sure are. And today we're talking a little bit about food. Who doesn't love good food? Yes. And restaurants are a huge part of the local economy. And for one Oakland owner, he's celebrating his restaurant's 12 year anniversary. Yeah. And joining us now from his eatery, Javier Sandez, owner of Javi's Cooking. Welcome, Javier. I first want to ask, despite crime concerns in Oakland, because that's a narrative on our show, what would you say has kept you grounded in making your business grow? Hi, everyone. Thank you for having us. Yes, um, our community, I think it, um, they connect right away with our uh, unique product and our customer service. And that basically kept us uh, going for the last 12 years. It's been pretty amazing. And you know what else is amazing? We're seeing the people that you work with behind you. These are jobs in action behind you. Tell me how hard was it to stay up and running during the pandemic and why did you stay with it when so many other businesses have needed to close in Oakland and San Francisco and elsewhere? Yes, um, it took me a long time to get here and the pandemic was not gonna put me down. So I just, um, I tried to focus uh, despite all the noises outside and what we were all going through. I saw a lot of businesses uh, you know, crashing and uh, that kind of motivates me to keep going. So I turned this uh, little factory into um, a, re uh, a grocery store. We were selling everything. We were selling, you know, toilet papers, uh, wow. uh, pat meat, uh, um, family meals. We were like selling vegetables. Uh, so yeah, I look for opportunities everywhere. We partnered up with um, a lot of organizations. We were doing a thousand meals a week for churches and, uh, and community centers for um, um, homeless communities. Wow. Giving you a really good chance to not only help your community, but also to bring them in and see all the great things you're doing. So, you know, y you have to have a product that people love as well. And I've had the empanadas, Javi. <laughs> they are <laughs> delicious. Tell me a little bit about what you serve up at yes. your restaurant. So yeah, we have uh, currently over 25 varieties. Uh, keep in mind, 12 years ago, I only have five. I started with the main five uh, traditional Argentinian empanadas, but people are always asking, can you make this? Can you make that? So we have over 25 varieties of empanadas from beef, chicken, pork, vegetable, uh, gluten-free, and vegan. So it makes a very unique product when we produce everything 100% in house, uh, from our dough, our fillings, and we have this unique folding which it prints our name and each variety's initial. So if you order uh, a beef empanada, you're gonna see the C8 initials on the cross along on the other side with Javi's name. Javier Sandez, thank you for joining us this morning and I love your choice in wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Fans. Representing Argentina, yeah. thank you so much.